Welcome to the Riot Podcast. Whee! Yay, Tuesday. I don't know where you guys live, but where we are, we got snow and ice. We did. It's it took like me a, a million hours to drive in today. It's like a winter wonderland. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm really excited. You know what? It's fine to just... You know what would be better? If you were at home in it. Boom. And not. If it was Saturday <laughs> and I was viewing this from inside my house, I'd be You'd like, be dude, so look at excited. that. would be so excited. We'd have a total change in attitude. Yeah, but it's not Saturday and I'm not at home and, you know. But instead you get this podcast because we came into work. Yeah. Okay. And Nikki, I got to tell you, the meatballs that you made, I'm starving. <laughs> You're killing me. There, It's a turkey meatball, but it does have, I think, some cheeses and no. maybe some onion powder. So I don't it, know if you would like no, all that. No. And everybody... My new hotness is people are like, there's not that much cheese in it. It doesn't seem to matter. It is. I'm so going to the doctor. Well, you are. You're going to the doctor to see if you're lactose intolerant or doctor, what else. Help me. I'm broken. What else might be, pro- might be the problems because some food makes you sick. Yeah. So uh, last thing before we say what's in the podcast, when we hit stop on this intro, I'm going to go get the freaking tree. You're going to go what? Oh, yay. We're going to decorate the studio. We are working on our Radio U Christmas channel tomorrow. We're going to be recording it because you guys will get our Radio U Christmas channel on Friday. I think it's the 22nd. So we got to decorate so that tomorrow... Your yawn is something. I'm sorry, So that dude. we can be all set for tomorrow to record what we need to do. You know what? I'm not sleeping very well. Uh, I go back and forth between sleeping so well mm-hmm. and not sleeping well at all. And last night was a, it was a, a light sleep. An other day. It was an other. <laughs> so, hey, in the podcast today, here's what I got for you. Uh, I went TV shopping yesterday. Thanks a lot to the people that texted this morning. Like, you buy TV every year at least. <laughs> Move on. Um, <laughs> color. And how it changes how you perceive even your medication. I think that's a fascinating thing. I'd like to read more about that. Yes, we talk a lot about Disney Plus and probably spend more time off air than we do on air about it. Meaning that you don't hear it all, but we definitely chatted. Uh, we get into uh, some text messages that are trolling Nikki. Uh, Nikki's Christmas tree shaming. I do want to say even the trolling ones that I get still are nice. still so nice. They're still so, so nice. I appreciate you guys always being so sweet. Yeah. Um, I didn't see anybody giving Nikki crap for wanting a new pair of headphones. <laughs> that was fine. It's fine for that. That's not a problem. Oh, it's but, you different. Know, they don't want to upset me. I'm right. fragile. I'm just very oh, emotional. Dad's already upset, so just go ahead. <laughs> uh, we also talk about the brand new Sonic the Hedgehog trailer that hit today. Google Stadia and a college course in video games that... It's actually kind of interesting. It is. Might be a game changer, you know? It could be. Who knows? Well, we'll see soon. Enjoy the podcast. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys. The Riot is well-versed on many different topics. They're shy at first, but they're quite skilled at conversation. This is The Riot on Radio U. So, got to say hi to everyone that's enjoying a cold snap in the country today. Uh, you know, I was watching the news last night, Nikki, and they showed the jet stream dipping way down. Did you? How do they figure that out? Like, do how mean? do they know where the jet stream is? Like, the jet stream's lower than normal. Like, what? Did it call? Did it send a drawing in? Where did you get your drawing? Can they see the, the wind patterns and all that? Something. But how do you, Nikki, how do you see the wind? I don't know. I think that that's a bigger, deeper question. Is it? <laughs> And they're not doing that. They're just showing you, where it is. How do you command the sky? <laughs> they can. They're I, just telling you what's going on. I don't know. It could all be made up. And I'm out here just like, wow, look, the jet stream is really low. I'll believe That's why it. It's cold. For all we know, they the jet stream's not even a thing. They're just making it up. They're like, uh, I don't know. It's cold because hey, jet stream. Weather people have time to fill too. So whatever works. You got to make a name for stuff. Hey, I love the weather people. Don't get me wrong. The bus stop forecast, you know, like <laughs> that in sports, you have a lot of time to fill. Are you going to need to get your shovel out tomorrow? You, more coming up next. I mean, all of that stuff. I'm, I've am i said it before when my time on the ride is up and maybe it never will be. Maybe I'll die in this chair. I don't know. But if it is, fingers crossed, fingers crossed if it is, I want to retire to be a weatherman. That's what you want. I just want to go out there and be like. A bumbly whatever weatherman. Should and you start I, taking classes now, or is that even a thing? Oh, I, I feel like my broadcast experience is enough. You Just used give, to me have the, to, give me the script. You used to have to take, you know, you know, classes for radio. That's long gone. Yeah. They don't have to do that anymore. But for weather people, I wasn't sure if you have to have anything. I could probably get a certificate somewhere. Print Just it out. send away <laughs> online. 
<laughs> yeah, I've been uh, classified by the something something meteorology. You and to be, <laughs> to be clear, there are some weathermen that are like legit. There's sure. actually so dumb. I like weather. There's one in particular that I follow on Twitter. It was like he has like his doctorate or whatever. Like he. He's a very smart man. Well, maybe you could do the, like, maybe the Weather Channel has a online internship program. You okay. know, you could do something yeah, come online. On. Come on. <laughs> I love the sound of that. And they'll just be like, we love how you seem like you know what you're talking about, but you really have no idea. I'm like, yeah, but you're very I'm confident. a weatherman. <laughs> All right? Weather you person. Per- I know. I'll be a weather man. You can be a weather woman. Okay. <laughs> is that wrong? I don't think it is, but not allowed. better. Not allowed to have a... You don't want to start off on the wrong foot. Okay. I'm a... Uh, never mind. You know what? I just wanted to do the weather. weather expert. You know what? Actually, I should be able to say weatherman because as a weather person, I'm in the clear to be wrong all, all the time. time. <laughs> the Riot really wanted to do this live, but now they can play video games and eat rice cakes instead. This is the worst of the Riot podcast. So I am shopping for a new TV, which has been... A fun, but also like almost a little stressful process. And you're like, how can it be stressful? It's just one of those things where, you know how, like, I don't normally, I'm not out there like spending that kind of money. So I'm trying to figure out like, hey, what's the best use of your money? Trying et cetera, to find a really good deal. A good, a good deal, but also like not buying a not good, good TV or whatever. And so uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, reading a lot of reviews. It's interesting to see just how much people disagree I, I, why am I saying that? Of course, people would disagree. It's the internet. <laughs> but when it gets down to it, people have a personal preference. Oh, sure. And so one TV might be amazing to you. Someone else might like something else. And they're yeah. going to tell you about it online. So you got to choose. I won't say where, but I went to a popular retailer There's yesterday. There's not many left. So. That, <laughs> I went to Costco and Best Buy yesterday. There you go. Those are the two places I went. Uh, and I spent more time at Best Buy. They had a larger selection. I mean, they have a lot of TVs at Costco, but Best Buy had more. And so I just spent some time looking at TVs. And one of the things that I learned while I was there is, you know, some of the TVs look better than others, but of course they're calibrated. Some of them are calibrated better. Which they do not do the best at Costco. No, I they feel don't. like some TVs are not set up the right way. They could be set up better and mm, they would look better. They would look better. The other thing that I learned is that not all of them are getting the same feed. So some of them are either A, getting like their onboard demo mode, which means they're being shown in probably some of the best light they possibly could be. Some of them are getting like a wired connection showing something. And then some of them, Best Buy actually has their own little like TV station in there where they are broadcasting a signal. And they're getting that signal. So right there, you've got three different things that may not have that much to do with the TV itself. It might be that like, hey, your TV is not very good with over the air reception, but it would look fantastic if you just plugged it into something sure. and all this stuff. And man, between that and the guy trying to convince me that, hey, you know, this $3,500 TV, it's not that much. I get you 24 months, same as cash. And I was, it was just like, you know what? He's trying to upsell you. Stop. Like, stop. Like, maybe some of the rubes come in and, you know, they're just like, I don't care. Sure, like, I'll take it. And he's like, how are you going to pay for this today? And I was like, well, if I buy a TV today, which I'm not going to, I'll be paying cash. And it was just like, oh. <laughs> I think he knew he couldn't get you into one of those. Like, why do you want to pay cash when I could sell you debt? It's like, oh, look, $3,500 in debt, and it comes with this free TV. Yay. Whee! So you did not get anything, though? I did not, though. Uh, but so you didn't th- find anything, or it just wasn't the right time? Uh, You'll know it. You know, you're just going to feel a little little tug in the I, heart. I actually feel like last night I made I made a choice, um, and I, I want to go. I'd like to try to look at it today. I don't know if I'm going to actually have time to do that maybe tomorrow, but... Uh, Vizio has a new uh, PX. It's not a P90X. It's like, oh, it's a workout TV. Yeah, it is. <laughs> You're going to be no. exhausted. But I, I think that may be where I'm headed. And that's, I don't know. We'll see. But like, that's that's the research. It's looking lot like of, that. A lot of research, Nikki. A lot of research. And I mean, you love I'm taking, the research. I'm taking time off from work. <laughs> I'm, I'm canceling plans. He's not seeing family and friends. You're I, like, you know, yeah, I'm just going to, I'm buying a TV and that's number one right now. I'm sequestered. People are asking me <laughs> questions and I'm like, listen, don't bother the delicate genius. 
You know, he's in the middle of something right now. Well, good luck to you. I appreciate that, Nikki. Feel free to, you know, if you want to bring me a packed lunch or send a pizza, uh, that'd be great because I'm not eating right now. (laughs) Because he's too busy. Where do you go when you need someone to listen to your problems and give you a big hug? Not here, obviously. This is The Riot on Radio U. All right, everybody. You know what it is today, right? Did everybody remember to take the day off? To go to bed early or sleep or or something. (laughs) I'm supposed to wake up early. Mickey Mouse is coming to town. Disney Plus is finally here. How long? How long have I? Okay, has everybody been waiting? That's a good question. I was actually wondering how long have we been talking about that? Has it been a year? I feel like it is, but my I was wondering has it been more than a year? Maybe, maybe. But today's the day. So right before the show, I did log in and take a look at it, Mm -hmm. and there. There really is an incredible amount of content there. Like, it's it's shocking how much stuff there is. Some of the stuff I was like, oh, yeah, I remember when that was on Netflix. <laughs> like, oh, no, nope, it's over here now. That's a thing. I did, like, uh, a couple things that I thought were cool is, like, the Marvel stuff is in 4K, mm-hmm. HDR, et cetera, et cetera. So if you, you know, have have got the capability of looking at it, it, it should look really good, which is cool. Um, and then I also noticed some... You know, Disney owns Touchstone Pictures, and some of the, like, more heartwarming, family-friendly things from Touchstone Pictures you're actually going to find in the lineup. That surprised me, where I was like, oh, okay, so say you want to watch Adventures in Babysitting. Is it's that a, there? It's there. <laughs> That's. I feel like you need to just start diving in, and then you'll just go and find, you know, all the movies. There's way more than, you know, when it just logs in what you're seeing yeah and the animated stuff some of that i i'm so excited tron uprising is on there which will mean nothing to most people but when they made that other tron movie that tanked uh they also made an animated series that i got to see the first couple episodes of and i loved it of course it was canceled uh, but <laughs> because you loved it it did get its an entire first season and so i am very interested in going back and watching that and it's on there i so like how cool. the app is set up it looks good not too not too much not too little not too much. Right, sure. Kind of right there in the, the sweet spot, so it looks good. I haven't played with the actual app. I was just looking at it through the web interface. Oh, you were? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, other, the thing I've been tracking is, uh, well, a couple things. One, I didn't expect it to work. And, I mean, granted, the day's not over. <laughs> uh, but Actually, I think tonight might be the biggest, you know, like actual draw on it. Yeah. To see if it can handle a bunch of people. Yeah. It probably would be tonight. Well, I can tell you tonight, I want to go home. There are two things that I really want to watch, and I am watching them tonight. Like, no delay. <laughs> so I bet I'm you're not the only this. one saying that. Yeah, I'm sure that's true, which makes you wonder, will they be able to handle it? And my guess is maybe. The other thing I've noticed is a lot of people in other countries that are like, oh, man. Oh, from the time difference? No, it hasn't launched. It's not. It hasn't launched everywhere. So, I mean, it's in, I don't know. I don't have the list of territories, but apparently in Europe, it's not a thing yet. So, people are like, I want it. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah. So, now you know what it, forget it. <laughs> Just, to add to it. No, I. There's I had, no need to rub it in. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, I'll just say go, that Disney sometimes Plus. they get things first too. That's true, and we we try to be gracious about it. Oh yeah, you know me, Nikki. Very gracious <laughs> when asked to wait. Time. <laughs> Very gracious when asked to wait. So we'll play with it more today. We might have more to talk about it later this week. But it's weird whenever something that's been pushed at you for so long, it's just like here. So it is weird. Just finally here. It is weird. And the other thing you begin to realize is like, oh, it's just TV shows and movies. <laughs> like That I for- are now <laughs> just here. I forgot. <laughs> I have a million of these. But I think we'll be more excited tonight and then this weekend when you actually have a little bit more time. I... I will be watching it, and I find myself wondering, though, like, how many times are you going to rewatch The Little Mermaid or The Lion King? Like, at some point, you're like, you know what? You're full. I'm, I'm good. I'm ready for something else now. <laughs> but that would probably take at least three years, Nikki. <laughs> I'm good. Yeah! <laughs> you were one of the lucky few who missed the riot when they were live. Yet here you are. I also like to live dangerously. This is the worst of the riot podcast. I want you for a second to imagine a classy joint. Real nice. Just real nice. Like actual classy or just like, oh, classy. Tell you what, they've got roast beef, (laughs) freshly shaved. Okay. Do you want a milkshake? I can get you a mocha one. Man, Arby 
cheese is expensive, but sometimes it's good. Hey, <laughs> I I will tell you, I got this thing on I do on Tuesdays where I have to I've got a thing and I gotta drive and I drive past an Arby's mm-hmm. in the last couple of weeks. I've stopped. Yep. And I'm not going to lie to you. It's really good. It looks good. <laughs> and I, the thing that I found, too, is, you know, they try to sell you all kinds of stuff. And I'm like, man, just give me, uh, you know, what is it, like their double roast beef or something? That's all I need. I don't need anything else. I just had meat for no, lunch. No That's more meat it. mountain. Just no. a nice, basic roast beef. <laughs> just give me straight up. Give me that medium or double or I don't know whatever the heck it is. It's like their medium roast beef. I'm mm-hmm. like, you give me that and I... I'm good. I don't need fries. <laughs> Maybe something to drink. I saw they have a s'mores milkshake, which looked pretty good. Oh, if anybody's good. tried that. So there is, I love this so much. There is an Arby's in Minnesota that everybody's talking about because they've posted a sign. Now, a sign means that the manager, the management, they've had it. The, it's you know, been the, a problem it's before. It's been a problem, and they are mad, and someone had to make a sign. That's right. And here it comes. You ready? Uh, the sign says, notice, only well-behaved children who can keep their food on their trays and their bottoms on their seats are welcome. <laughs> If you can't do this, you will be asked to leave. Now, some people have been offended by the sign. Okay, Nikki, what do you think? Like, as somebody, like, you're not rolling in there with kids. Like, What you, was the first line on it? Was it? Did it specifically say kids? Only well-behaved children. See, they should have not done children. They just said a, should have said people. So it kind of worked with children. Because I've seen guys in there. People, not just guys, but people. I feel like you were very gender biased with that statement. Misbehave. That's because the Arby's over here. I've gone in a few times and I never see women in there. It's always guys. And I've I've mentioned it. It's like, why? Where are all I the love, women inside the restaurant? Well, Nikki, you need to blaze a trail over no, there. No, it's awkward. You do. You need to lead. And I have seen a few with their butts not in the seat. And sure. they're not behaving well. So Why are you staring at their butts, Nikki? Because they're not in the seats. Okay. <laughs> they're not being quiet. Okay. If you say so, I'll take that. But yeah, they everybody's all mad because they're like, how dare you single out children for their poor behavior? Well, it's just, poor behavior. I'm just like, yeah, but who goes into Arby's to eat? True. <laughs> I think that's the bigger thing. I'm just hitting the drive through man. I, I couldn't tell you that. Well, okay, wait. Somehow, oh, it was coupons. That's what got it. We, you don't we, go. You don't want to use the coupons for the drive-through. No, no, we went and ate there. It was me and Michael and Nick, and it, we, the only reason we went to Arby's was Nick showed up with like this thing of coupons. We were like, "Ah, oh, coupons." <laughs> so we're going inside, and so we did. We, we had to do it that way. We sat around and. I made the same joke I make every time I see the horsey sauce. Mm, classic. You know, it's what you do. Yeah. It's what you do. Fine. And then I threw my food on the floor and ran around for a while. So I, I don't know. I don't own a restaurant or a franchise or a place. I don't know what it's like to have people not behaving in it. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, again, it must be a problem if a sign is made. Man, it's not those kids' fault. They're falling under the influence of the bovine growth hormone that's in the beef. <laughs> The roast beef. It's driving them mad. Of course they can't sit still. It's Would you sit still? Factors. When you when you be too excited inside an Arby's to sit still. <laughs> We're at Arby's. Yay! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Thanks, mom and dad. Let the high sea flow like a river. Uh, I'm walking around. Refills for days. I'm gonna talk and not be quiet. Dad can't smack me in public. <laughs> So you you have to understand they couldn't possibly reel that in. They're just all that little excitement. It's tough. It's tough all over. You're listening to The Riot. Let's all work together today to live life with the patience of a Nikki dealing with an Obadiah. Got to hang in there and get through it. You're listening to The Riot. Uh, how important is color? Really? I'll tell you it's hugely important. Uh, They are doing more and more studies all the time on how your body and your mind react to color, the colors of things, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, They talk a lot about colors in classrooms and how uh, there's this, according to this one study, and they've been kind of carrying it out in the UK, they went in and they actually uh, muted the colors in classrooms. Mm -hmm. So instead of them being like bright and colorful and very stimulating, they instead have gone with beige and gray and whatever and a lot of people will walk into a room like that and be like this is so boring but they're finding that the students learn better with muted colors than they do with really bright colors 
because I guess they're not as distracting. I don't know that they actually give the answer. They're just saying, hey, this is yeah. what we found in the study. Well, honestly, some of that makes sense. It it does. Kind of does. Here's the one that really freaks me out in this study in the British Medical Journal. So they monitored uh, 61,000 patients that have epilepsy over the course of five years. They chose epilepsy for this study because the generic forms of different epilepsy drugs seem to come in more colors than most other drugs do. And here's what they found is that people that were given the pill with this and it was the same color the entire time. They're like, yeah, it's fine. But if your pill changes color, Mm -hmm. depending on the color that's chosen, you may think that it is more or less effective even if it's not. Really? It can be the, the exact, color of the pill? It can be the exact same medication. Mm-hmm. But if the color of the pill changes, you change your perception of how it's doing. So like say it was a yellow and I love yellow. Would I feel better taking the yellow pill? You might. Little. Yellow. Little yellow pill. Different. <laughs> Maybe. Wow, that's interesting. It is interesting. And it brings me back to what I feel like all doctors everywhere should learn the most important lesson. Give me the pink drink. Oh, from when you were a kid? When I'm sick. <laughs> give me the pink stuff? Give me the oh pink stuff. Oh my gosh, stuff. what was that called? It was amoxicillin. Oh, it was so good. It's delicious. Do you remember, I remember when I was younger, like trying to bargain with the, the doctor or just trying to get them when you were almost too old to have the pink drink anymore? And they're like, we'll give you pills. And you're like, yeah, but I doctor. <laughs> like, I really, I do so well on this. <laughs> I really should get that. <laughs> I don't remember that, but I, mean, I love it. As a kid, we were bargaining. Sure. <laughs> just trying to get that drink. I just love the idea of, I, I. do you think it was the pink drink or do you think it was like when you were little and you were sick? It was the drink color and the smell and the, the smell was taste good. was taste amazing. Was and like your parents are being nice to you like, oh, why don't you go and watch a movie and just relax because uh-huh. you're sick? Man, as an adult, people are like, what do you mean you're not coming into work? <laughs> You got your pink drink. Get in here. Do you understand what you're doing to this company right now? (laughs) This is why nothing here works. Which is why you're just praying for the yellow pill. You're like, please let me get the yellow medicine today. Like, I tried to get the doctor to give me the pink drink, but he wouldn't. Well, things were just a lot easier when you were younger, and you could get that stuff. Color matters, Nikki. It does. Color, taste, smell. Mm -hmm. And that's why we wear black shirts all the time. I want to just let the other colors be bold. Have their moment. Yeah, have their moment, and I'll just blend in. That's right. It was bad enough the first time around, but now it's worse. Don't believe us? Just keep listening. You'll find out soon enough. This is the Worst of the Riot Podcast. Wait, did she say I will not be... What's, how's bold. That? No. She's going to be bold. I will not be... Shamed? Shamed. Tamed? <laughs> shamed. Is it shamed? I think, well, now that you're saying it, I don't recall it. All right. Jen, Jen Ledger, bold lyrics. Jen Ledger has lots of bold lyrics. That may that's what I say. Um, <laughs> let's see. I will not be chained. Okay, because I just felt like if it was shamed, it would really tie in with what we're hearing from Leah and David, both of whom are not ashamed that their Christmas lights are up. They have no problem with it whatsoever. Man, see, I'm really fighting this weekend. Maybe I should this weekend. No, don't. Because next weekend I have other stuff going on. What are you doing next weekend? I have a party. It's not my party. It's someone else's party. So and this stupid phone. <laughs> They don't even know you. It's unbelievable. Here it is. That's there's <laughs> they another. Don't even know you. I mean, there's another person that's been calling me, trying to get a hold of me to invite me to this party. You did not get invited. I still haven't gotten a phone call. This thing is junk. I have that. It is junk and other stuff. To where? What if I did it this weekend? Because I don't have anything this weekend. Oh, you're taught. Listen to it happening. Don't you think it makes sense? Way to go, sense? Leah. Way to go. <laughs> Well, you David, did it. his tree is up too. David's, I mean, okay, David doesn't really count because he says he never took his tree down. That's smart. That's very smart. I just think it might be practical for me to do that this weekend. <laughs> A better use of time. I really want to put it up. <laughs> I just want you to know what? that I don't buy it. No, well, what do you think? You know what? I'll just say this. I'm not mad at you. Do it. You know what, Nikki? Don't shame or anything. No, I'm going to shame you. Because, oh. I, I mean, normal look, shame? Yeah, normal shame. Normal shame. Okay, not like not abnormal so shaming. Not but, extra. Well, I mean, okay, right now, th- things I'm currently shaming you about three years of Disney Plus, 
putting up your Christmas tree. <laughs> I think that's all I got right all now. The other so I actually things. feel like we have like room for a third thing right now. I just think it really for me and my schedule, it'd be smart if I put up my Christmas tree this weekend. And you know what? You're so good at keeping <laughs> things together. This is what you have to do. You keep, just have keep to in the sh- keep in the ship. Like upright, <laughs> moving. I just don't want to feel pressured to have to do it next weekend, and then it, it's too busy. Okay, Leah says in my oh gosh, Nikki, listen to her tree shaming you. She said, "In my defense, it's my I don't have my tree up; it's just my outside lights." Ah, oh. shame, 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 shame on shame. you! <laughs> Let's play the shame Nikki game. Who's <laughs> got something? Wee. Or we could uplift and edify. <laughs> We've never played that game before. We could be positive. And Hang on. Words how do you, how do you even spell edifying? Nice words of way to go, Nikki. That sounds like a really smart move. It, You're really being good with your schedule. Nikki, according to dictionary.com, mm-hmm. edify means instruct or improve morally or intellectually. So perhaps by telling you that you're doing it wrong, <laughs> we are edifying you. <laughs> that could be it. John said that the outside lights for him are out too because it was warmer in his area, so he put them up. Well, see, Nikki, it's going to be no- warmer in your house this weekend. It will. Perfect and temperature. all that free time plus the high temperatures is probably a Fine, great time I'll for wait. you to go ahead and put your tree up. No, what? I don't feel the support that I need to be able to put my tree up this weekend then. No. I'll tell you what's going to happen. Uh, Eric's going to come along and be like, Bunny, I'll put your tree up for <laughs> I'll you. I'll put it up for you. And that's but how really, it works. The following weekend when I was going to, the party's just like two hours. It's not. I still have the whole it's weekend. It's the whole weekend. <laughs> I have the whole weekend to do it. It's fine. Thanks, everybody. Phone's really great time. Still not ringing. Yeah, no one and else. No, no voicemail notification. Thank you, Peter. Says no judgment for putting up lights outside before it gets too old. But turning them on is judgment worthy. I don't know. I saw lights on this morning and I was just like, hey, lights. <laughs> hey. Giving every novelty food the publicity it so blatantly desires. It's The Riot on Radio U. Nikki, where have we been on this? Do you remember like a couple weeks ago when we found out that McDonald's was doing a 40th anniversary Happy Meal with all those toys. amazing toys in them? There's some really like retro toys that look kind of amazing. Uh, is it now or was it closer to Thanksgiving? I think it's going on right now. Well, because I... like they have. Here's what I want. They have the hamburger that transforms into a robot. Is that what you want? That's from the one I'm looking for. Man, I don't want to have to go and, and well, it, we don't get Happy Meals a lot. And then you have to go and ask for the one. So that, I, you know what? I think I might. <laughs> I wanted the little chicken nugget. Um, the firefighter chicken nugget? There's a couple of them, I thought. But they're these little chicken nugget characters that have, like, costumes on them. Yep. Come on. Dude, there's a Tamagotchi in there. So they're or doing, at least a generic one. They're like, doing retro uh, Happy Meal toys. So it might be like a toy that maybe they had when you were a kid or how long, how your long parents. How long is this going on? It wasn't too we, long. We got to get some Happy Meals, Nikki. <laughs> I don't want to. You know what? I think I now, of course, I get really excited about stuff in here. I know. And then when and you I get don't outside. always translate it super well to outside. No, but, I'd rather stand outside the drive through and ask, does anybody want to donate a toy? <laughs> Who does not want their Happy Meal toy? Want, Which would be like asking a kid for a Happy Meal toy. They're not going to give it to us. I've got a meeting today. I would like to take a Happy Meal into that. Why don't you? Take a few. <laughs> you Everybody walk, can share. You just walk in and set your Happy Meal down. And it's like, what? Trying to get the retro toys, guys. I'm trying don't to get, shame. I'm trying to get the hamburger that turns into a robot. Don't, can you imagine what, if you had what that? What do you have going on that's so much better than me? If you had that for your desk... Perfect. Oh my gosh. It's perfect. Or like need, here in the studio. I need to spend the entire day. I need to spend my whole paycheck trying Dude. to get that one little toy, which Ooh. is probably like 10 cents. Angela says she works at McDonald's. She'll keep her eyes out for those toys. Ooh, thank you, Angela. So wait, Angela, while we have you on the text here, and it's going to take forever for turnaround, could you tell us... <laughs> um, I am seriously curious. Like this, is, it's happening now, right? Like this. Um, it was. I'm going was to McDonald's. dot com. A limited time, but I'm sure if you Google it, it'll show you. All right, let's see. There maybe it is. the the eleventh. Did it start 40 yesterday? Forty years of the Happy Meal. <gasps> oh my gosh! What? It was only the seventh through the eleventh. Today's the twelfth. It's already over. It's already over. It's over. How can this be? <laughs> So quick. Why? Why? Did you just... Why? 
was in only five days. Why? How can we do that? No. And we noticed the day after. Oh, no. No. Oh, doesn't that no. really? I'm really sorry. We should. It would have been better if we didn't even remember they had it no at all. More transforming hamburgers. That's all you wanted. They're gone. I really wanted to get one of those. Maybe now I could get a McDonald's burger that transforms into a real burger. Maybe you need to go today and see if they still have any leftover ones. Do you guys have any in the back? The ones that you didn't give out? Please. <laughs> Please. Please. All right. Well. Oh, no. You had to look. <laughs> you had to look, didn't you? Well, that's just great. <laughs> We're the, a day late. Dang it. Not even just a day late for when it started. We're a day late when it ended. Man, you know what? That's okay. I love me. You love, love, love a good my, toy. I love myself oh, and I'm the sad choices too. I make. Everything you love about the Riot plus a handy dandy fast forward option. This is the Worst of the Riot podcast. I want to say hi to Sam. He just texted us at 877 radio U, and he decided to go ahead and go out for a morning troll. Aww, only the best text, right? <laughs> Sam says, listening to a Riot podcast from last week, talking about the AirPods Pro on my new AirPods Pro. He got a pair. You really should buy some, Nikki. Your voices have never sounded so good. Aww, he had a good review of them. He said they're really comfortable. Yeah, I, I'll finish. He says, uh, very comfortable. They don't have that earplug-like feel that many in earbuds have great sound full bass strong noise canceling that gets close <laughs> to matching a pair of high-end sony over ear ones i own i'm very impressed so i've heard from a lot of people that the noise canceling is amazing yeah but i've heard from a few others including someone else who listens who returned them because they did not like the actual in-ear comfort level part of it okay sure and so i kind of want to i want to have a friend who's close enough to where i can put them in my ears first so what that. if they're not comfortable well, you know that's uh, to me that is the thing that keeps me from buying i keep seeing basically the AirPod competitor, whatever. They're the true wireless earbuds mm -hmm. that, you know, you put one in each ear. There's no connecting wire. And I've thought about that because I, I do truly think that my uh, my earbuds are dead. I tried charging them overnight. Uh, the ones you have it for working out. Yeah, it's a, man, it's a real bummer, dude. Like It's a real bummer. Um, but uh, I always feel like I'm going to buy them and they're going to be terrible. Like they won't you, fit my ear or yeah, something or whatever. I know you can return them, but I've never returned something to the Apple store and I don't know if I can. <laughs> Just, you know. Well, no, then you know what you need to do. You go buy them at like Best Buy or even Costco. Oh, no, Costco is going to sell them. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if you bought them at Costco, they would just, you walk in, they're like, well, just take them. And it's not, you know, Apple would take them. Like, it's not a problem, but it was you just. You just feel shame. I would feel ashamed. Ear like, it shaming? was me. Like, my ears didn't work for their product. My ears were wrong. Because, like, one of my ears, my right one, whenever I've done real in ear stuff, yeah. uh, is always a little bit off from the left ear. Yeah. Oh, no, me too. I don't know which one is deformed, but one of them is for sure. They're, they're not identical. They're definitely not. <laughs> That's okay. You know, they say symmetry is one of the best indicators of health and attractiveness. So you can believe one of my ears is <laughs> all messed up. It's not the same. Yeah. Well, Sam, thank you for texting. It's on the Christmas list. Is it? I think that so. That means you're getting them. I think so. But then I'm also perfectly happy with my other two pairs of AirPods. Hello. I feel like Nikki's putting on a, a stage play for Santa right now. So She's I like, feel like I'm okay. Like, it is okay that they're on my list, but <laughs> in truth, I'm perfectly satisfied. No, I'm, I'm really and I'm not I'm, at all concerned. I'm really having a struggle. I have two perfectly fine working pairs of AirPods. I don't need another. I hear you. I really don't. I hear you. And so do the people at Apple. They're like, you don't need another pair, <laughs> but here's another pair. But here's another one. Here they are. I might not. I need them. I sure do want them, but mm. I don't have them yet. Listen to that maturity that gets rewarded. Growing when, up. When your mom goes out Christmas shopping. I know. Look, it's going to have to be something someone else gets me. Wow. Not only are you already awake, but you're listening to The Riot. Your day is off to a pretty rough start. The Riot on Radio U. So Nikki and I are doing what so many other people are doing. We're taking a look Working at Disney Plus hard. this morning. 
We're working hard. Uh, I looked at it. I got here, what, a little before five this morning and fired it up, had no trouble with it. I know. um, Because I just wanted to see if it was there. And then now that it's a few hours later, it's still working, but I'm definitely getting that little circle that's like loading. A lot of people are saying the, the lag time is real because everybody's been waking up and now starting to use it for the first day. Dude, what about Flight of the Navigator? What's Oh, you talked about that the other day. The Black Hole. The Black Hole is not a good movie, but it has some of the best production design ever. Like the first 10 minutes of it, just looking at what the Cygnus and whatever the heck the name is of the other ship, like they are, they look so cool. And then the movie's very bad. <laughs> so just the 10 minutes only. <laughs> yeah, just just get a good look at the production design and, then and get you're out. get out of there. You're out. <laughs> get out of there real quick. But since it's just streaming, who cares? <laughs> no big deal. So, yeah, it, you know what? All right, I'm in. What Nikki and I keep finding things that we're interested in watching. So that's kind of cool. It's fun. I like new stuff. Yeah. Well, meaning like a lot of this is older stuff that we've never had a chance to watch before. Right. Uh, but it's just fun having a new thing. Yeah. So it, pretty soon it'll be like Netflix where you're like, my queue is full and I'm watching nothing. I'm not getting through any of the stuff. I'm watching <laughs> nothing. I'm hoping that works out that way. No, you know what we should do? Oh, I'm back to a spinning ball. What was the, fr- okay, I know what I tried. The first thing I tried streaming, like as a test stream, mm. what's the first thing you streamed over there? Over here? Or like that you at all, like what is the first thing you hit play on? Uh, for Disney, Disney Plus. Plus? Um, what was it? Oh, I was going to look at the Lady and the Tramp one. Okay. All right. And then the Noel one. Okay. First thing I hit play on was Tron. Tron. <laughs> so what does that say about us? It does. I just wanted to see like... <laughs> What would it look like? Would Are you it talking about the old, old Tron? Yeah, or? like 1982 or okay, something Okay, so like not that? The, the movie that came after the... No, that's on there, and so is the animated show, and I'm I'm going to watch them all. You do that. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll, uh, there I'll shouldn't stop. be any beach ball or spinning wheel on that. No one's clicking on that one. You know what? It's fine. I've just given up on liking the things that other people like. The riot has now been downloaded. Uh, I hope you installed some antivirus. This is the worst of the Riot podcast. You know, one of the amazing things about snow is when you watch it fall, snow can take the ugliest thing and make it look nice, right? Because it just covers it up. And it's, you're just like, no, look at the rotting old thing out back. Look how beautiful it is. I'm an insta that. You mean the trees? Let's get the lights. <laughs> well, I, you know what's funny? The image that I had was a beat up old tractor that doesn't work parked really? under a tree forever. <laughs> All right. And, you know, the snow falls on it, gives it a majestic morning look with the sun in the background. And if we could hit it just right, get some of sparkles. those J.J. Abrams lens flares with some sparkles and... The next thing you know, I'm the next Instagram star. Me and my tractor. That's right. Here's the thing, though. All that snow that you're piling on top of it, when that stuff melts, then it gets muddy. It gets gross. And whatever the heck that thing is underneath is still there. Now, some people don't like this metaphor, but I'm telling you how it is. We can cover up the stink. We can put lipstick Lipstick on (laughs) the pig. That's his favorite. (laughs) But you know what? We still have a problem underneath. We still have that thing that needs dealt with. And I'm telling you right now, I have tried to cover. I have tried to coerce. I have tried to shove it in the closet. I've tried a lot of things. The bottom line is you got to get rid of the lipstick and you got to get face to face, eyeball to eyeball with the pig. You got to get to the problem, to the source. Because if you don't, you can cover it up your entire life, but it's never going to go away unless you deal with it. Now, dealing with things is hard. How are you going to do that? God's going to help you. Do you know that Jesus wants to get involved in your life? And I don't care if it's a messed up childhood, if it was a relationship that was bad, somebody hurt you, maybe in ways that are unspeakable. Let's be clear. I am not trying to minimize with humor real honest pain. I'm not. But what I am trying to do is to get you to laugh at the fact that you've been trying to ignore it, but it's been there the whole time. Laugh at yourself a little bit. It's all right. It takes courage to turn around and look at this stuff. You need to grab God by the hand and get this stuff taken care of because your future and your past are not going to look the same. That snow's not going to have anything to fall on. It's just going to be nice. So listen, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, now's the time. Say, Jesus, I need that. I've been covering stuff up forever. 
It's time to get rid of the covers. It's time to deal with it. I want you to come into my life. I want you to fill me with your spirit. I need you to heal me. And I just want to be friends. Man, listen to what God has to say. He does want to heal you. It might require you doing some things. But you know what he's going to do? He's actually going to show you the things that you need to do to deal with the things that need dealt with. That's great. So instead of spinning your wheels, you're going to actually get something done. A Rotten Tomatoes score so high, they refuse to make it public. The Riot on Radio U. So there's all this talk about launching streaming services. Nikki and I have participated in this talk because Disney Plus launched today. We played with it a little bit. Uh, Seems fine. Seems like what you'd expect. But there's something else that's about to launch. You're like, wait, is it? Is it that? No, it's a game streaming service. You guys, you've heard of a company, their small ad based company called Google. <laughs> oh, that thing. You've heard of them before, right? Uh, Google is about to launch their video game service called Stadia. It launches November 19th as the crow flies. That's what it says here, which would be one week from today. But that's the one where you had to buy into it for a little bit and it's not public until next year. It won't be public until next year. So here's the idea behind Stadia. You are able to uh, like if you pay, I think it's one hundred and twenty dollars one time, one time right now, you'll get three months of their Stadia Pro service, which enables 4K streaming. Uh, on this video game thing that also gives you did i say three months of that you get three months of that there are a couple of games that will come with though haven't they haven't said which ones Mm -hmm. destiny 2 for sure Uh, and then you will also get their special controller which is designed to connect directly to the server so like it doesn't connect to your computer it connects to the server and that's supposed to slow down lag time and so you get all of that for like 120 bucks and you get in first Then you also get an invite code so you can invite a friend so that they can also play with you in those first three months. They don't get a controller, but they They can play. But they get to play. Then sometime early next year, they will launch the free version of Stadia, which will allow you to stream games at 1080p. They want to have enough time to get all the ads in, figure out, you know, more ways to get stuff in front of you. The thing that's a little rough is they're saying, like, you know, it doesn't come... These are not all a bunch of free games. Like, you're going to have to buy these games. So and even though you, you can play them anywhere, it doesn't mean that the game itself? The game itself is not free. Are and some? it's not a Netflix for games. Like, it is a service that you pay for and then buy the games from the company. So it's like a middleman to be able to access your games wherever you're at? Essentially. So uh, they announced their launch list, and it's all games that have been out in some cases for at least a year in some like maybe longer nothing current yeah so like you've got shadow of the tomb raider rise of the tomb raider and tomb raider will it have a phone app uh eventually but eventually. not yet i i don't think it's going to have well okay this year it'll be available on pixel phones which are google phones and then i believe they're going to open it up sometime next year to other phones basically so, this is what consoleless gaming will be right so you'll be able to play that is actually that's the big draw is the only thing that you'll absolutely have to have is an internet connection and p- they would prefer a controller so like you'll be able to play on your mac you can play on your phone you can play on your tablet all of that stuff's not there yet but it will be uh, but that's all launching a week from today if you want to pay the $120 up front. If not, you have to wait till next year or be a plus one. Yeah. I. You know what? Somebody told me they're going to make me their plus one. So I, I will see. I hope he does. I hope he follows through. I know. But you know what? Just keep I, bringing it up casually. I, like, also, hey. I also know that there's an awful lot of, you know, people who are living their best life and sometimes you get excited and start promising your plus one around or you forget maybe it's an forget. honest mistake and you forget about ob and he was supposed to be the plus one but not anymore and you know what that's fine <laughs> it really is fine but at some point i am looking forward to checking it out but I, i'm probably gonna wait on the free one just because the worst podcast with the best listeners this is the worst of the riot podcast You know how Google Stadia was on almost no one's radar, but I brought it up. Let me bring you up to speed on something else that is not on your radar, that you've completely (laughs) stopped paying any attention to at all. But since you listen to the show, we're going to bring you up to speed. Uh, Yeah, Nikki, this morning uh, they have released the Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer 2. 
Yeah, the second version. Yes, so you'll remember that movie was supposed to come out this summer or was it this fall? I can't remember, but they released a trailer and everybody was like, oh my gosh, what have you done? Well, it started with the poster art. Yeah. And that was real early this year. And the poster art was just everybody made fun of it. Sonic just kind of looked ridiculous. Then came the trailer. People hated how this Sonic looked. And then the movie guys were like, all right, we're going to redo Sonic in the movie. We're going to give you something else. And so they essentially have remade him to look enormously more like the he car- did in the, the video game. Was or it a the cartoon, cartoon or a video game? It started as a video game, and then it was a cartoon, and it's been both on and off for like the last 20 years. Because they keep, every once in a while, it seems like there's a new cartoon or a new this or a new that or even a new game. Uh, and so in this particular case, it's a new movie. And he... He looks much more like what you would call the traditional Sonic the Hedgehog. Now, that is not the only problem I had. Nope. <laughs> the no, it's not. Trailer, it's so not. I don't want you to be like, well, obviously the problem's fixed now because it is still a, I don't know. It, it looks not my, not my thing. I'll tell you what I did. I, um, I went and watched it. I yeah. watched the entire thing. The trailer. Yeah. And I, I tried not to just dismiss it out of hand. I tried to just watch it. And my thoughts are that it is much improved from the first trailer. Okay, good. Okay. There's some steps forward. It's not just that the Sonic design is better. They have cut together a better trailer. I still, however, if you were listening earlier, I believe the phrase was you put lipstick on a... (laughs) That's not, I mean, yeah, but if you want to say that... That's what I feel like we're doing here. Like, you're making it purdy, but that don't make it good. I don't know. What was the one that came out with Ryan Reynolds, the Pikachu? Pikachu? Like, that had... People said that was pretty good. That seemed more like the humor kind of matched with who they were expecting to go see it. Yeah. Because for Sonic, I mean, I don't know who they expect to see this one. I don't the know. humor seems too young. But I think they're going for an older audience. Thing two is like Jim Carrey just seems terrible. Now, is that the person? Yeah, he's the one that's Dr. Robotnik, the bad guy. Now, here's the thing. I actually think that Jim Carrey's performance seems pretty good. I think it's a great fit for this kind of what they what they wanted from him. I guarantee you they were basically like, we want zany old Jim Carrey from the mid-90s, whatever. And he's absolutely doing that. I just feel like it's something that doesn't work with what they're what the rest what of it is? What you would kind of expect it to be? Is it Valentine's Day it comes out, I think? Uh, you know what? I don't know, actually. Oh, yeah. You want to go You want to go <laughs> see this on Valentine's Day, don't what you? What are you talking about? It's the perfect date movie. It's the perfect date movie. <laughs> it's all coming together. It's going to be yep, wonderful. There you, there you go. Game on February 14th. Is that just like a tone deaf day to release that or what? Or or is the idea like people with kids need somewhere to take their kids? Let's all go to the movies? I don't know. I don't know about this one. The riot. They're kind of a big deal. Uh hey, can we do that again? Maybe a little more energy. Uh no. Radio you. Well, Nikki, you're planning on going to what is it? Uh Florida this? Yeah, for Christmas I'm going to Orlando. Maybe? No, I am. It's confirmed. Yeah, airlines and hotels. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm in the room next door. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming along, guys. It was supposed to be a surprise, but Eric and I had it all worked out. You are coming for sure. But I'm actually going to, I mean, can you imagine just the horror of you coming around the corner in the hotel and I'm standing there like, hey! I, I know what you would do. I wouldn't even see you. I would hear you just go, Nick! I'd be screaming Nikki from the balcony as she walked into the hotel. Like, oh, he's here. Yay. We can still do the show. Eric, we have to get out of here right now. (laughs) I'd be mad. Like, who told him? Right now. No, but I'm looking forward to vacation. Well, I'll tell you what. While you're in the airplane, I'm going to need you to not do something. You already know not to drink the water. Well, yeah. Are I mean, you talking like from the a bottled water? Unless they have bottled water, but the problem is you don't want their ice. Sure. They're, they're usually making their ice on that plane, and that's no good. So they say no ice, just straight bottled water. That's your best bet. You also, and this is what, according to this study from people at Hunter College, the New York City Food Policy Center, 
They say you probably don't even want to wash your hands in the bathroom. I'm not going in the bathroom. Oh, yeah. Let alone it's you. That. What was Hello? I thinking? What was I thinking? You will hold it and you will just not think about it the entire flight. I'm not using the restroom. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm not washing my hands. I'm sorry. I. <laughs> you use the bathroom at the airport before you get on the plane and then you're just going to hold it. You're right. I for- I forgot. What am I saying? Of course you're not going to use the bathroom. That's not of any concern to you. It's a scary place. You're not even, you wouldn't go in there. What bathroom? There might as well not be one. There is no bathroom on the plane. <laughs> there isn't even one at the airport. No, you just, just I have, have to, to wait. Go, I have I to wait go from my I house to the hotel. Yes, till I get home. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the troubles whenever I've been on a flight have always revolved around, like, the bathroom. People are waiting. They get mad at each other. Something happens. Someone breaks something. There's an issue. And if you just don't use it, there's no problem. Yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. And I'm usually at like four or five hour flights. Yeah. I'm still holding it. Oh, and Nikki's not even drinking water on the plane because she can't add to the, you the have current to wait. water load. Yeah, you can eat, but you're not allowed to drink anything. You take three hours before the plane, you stop drinking, and then you're allowed to resume drinking once you return home. Then you just you really hydrate after, and yeah. you'll be fine. Your body will bounce back. No problem. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's used to all kinds of conditions, I'm sure. Yeah, it's no issue, but I assume it's just filthy. Uh, yeah, they say that it's just crazy dirty so and again think about this whole plane don't even wash yes (laughs) don't even wash your hands i always think that too and they're like we cleaned the plane and i'm like yeah you know what what do you what do you pay the people that clean the plane like three dollars an hour probably and And i gotta tell you what at some point i start looking at my job and i'm like "Eh, here's a little wipe that's enough here's what it is have you ever you know like you need to clean your place and then you, you're like, well, I don't really need to deep clean because I just cleaned. I just cleaned. So you just do a light cleaning. Yeah. Like you're just vacuuming and that's over it. Over and over and over again. And then you're like, oh, well, and then that's what you keep doing every week and no one ever really cleans. No one goes into that plane and is like, you know what? Today we're really going to dig in, guys. We're really going to do it today. So I want everybody crevice tool. Yeah. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, we're in there getting everything clean. But we are shampooing these seats. You shouldn't be using, don't touch the water. Don't drink the water. Don't touch the water. Don't touch the water. In fact, it, you know what? I know it's weird. Rubber gloves, surgical mask. Just go for it. Oh, they'll be fine. No big deal. You'll just look like someone who doesn't want to get any germs. They have those surgical gloves that have capacitative touch so you can still use your phone. <laughs> No big deal. The definition of insanity is putting the riot on again and again and expecting a better result. It's the worst of the riot on Radio U. Sometimes I feel like the best way that you can figure out what the next hot thing is is just ask me what I think of it. And if I don't like it, it's on, dude. It's on fire. It's huge. Uh, like when video game streaming started, I was like, that'll never take off. Who wants to watch people play video games? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Everybody does. But if he does like it, then it's chances over. are it's not going to be something that catches on. Forget about it. It's not going to happen. So Shenyang City University in China. You're like, why am I talking about this? Give me a chance to make the connections. Uh, in at, in there, they have a... Uni- <laughs> at the university. Now, I want you guys to know what happened on a meta level. When you heard me stop... To question my transition, I stepped back and gave some meta analysis. And then when it was time to get back into the flow, completely lost. You were off it. If I had just kept going, it would have been fine. And I would have drawn the ending back to the beginning. It would have all made sense. But instead, we're having this conversation now, wasting even more time. I'm really glad I'm here. How about you guys? Back to the conversation. So here's the deal. This university in China, they are basically running a program that's going to specialize in video games in a couple of different ways. So the idea is you would go there and you would learn to win. Uh, you would learn management skills to manage like an esports team. And the other thing that they are teaching is esports commentary. Really? So they will teach For like you. like broadcasting? That's right. And my first thought is I, I looked at this like, man... I, could there possibly be enough jobs in esports broadcasting for this to work? It's and, big there. It's and, super big. And my immediate thought was, oh my gosh, I need to get on this. <laughs> I, no, you don't. <laughs> part of me feels like it's not going to work. I got to get on it. Because then, let's see, I watch a lot of TV out of Korea, Japan, and China. And in China, there's been like seven or eight recent shows. And you know what they're all centered about? 
esports teams. Right. I'm like, oh, this guy's a manager and he's the the hot manager star. Like every like this is their the new actor thing. Okay. It's now an actual manager of an esports team. Yeah. See, what I need is esports radio because I, I'm probably not. <laughs> You're I'm not probably not. Well, I'm probably not good looking enough to make it on an esports channel. But you know, if I could provide commentary without you seeing me, maybe I'd be good. Could be. Yeah. So, wait a minute. I know what we could do. Um, what was that, Cyrano de Bergerac? That's going to be my take, and we're going to have an esports drama. Okay, I'm the one that has the talent to say what needs to be said. But you don't want to be need, on there. But I'm not good looking enough. And so I'm helping somebody that's good looking enough. And so uh, I don't know, whoever from the esports team begins to fall in love with him, but then she finally realizes she was really falling uh, in love with me. The whole time. The whole time. And then I become hugely successful. I actually think that's interesting. So if you're going to college, you're going to take classes, that's what you could be learning about. Well, it's one of those things that right now uh, you... Like, unless you speak Chinese, that's not going to work. But I'll bet if you poked around a bit, there's some universities that are looking into this. My alma mater, Mount Vernon Nazarene University, they've got an esports team. Now, I don't know what kind of broadcasting they do around that, but maybe the broadcasting department needs somebody. Maybe they need someone a to come in and teach them how to esports broadcast. Uh, I don't know how to do that, but maybe someone else does. <laughs> maybe you'll be. Confident enough. You watch, all you have to do is stay a little bit ahead of them. That's right. So if you go in, you don't need to know it all. Just, Just learn little. as you go. Sounds good. The worst of the riot is over, but the fun can keep going. Hey, I saw you checking out my goods. Check the riot blog or stalk us on social media. You want to sample them? A little try before you buy us? Huh? Through riot.radiou.com. Dad can't smack me in public.